will follow. Hey guys, welcome to JNR Creations, and if you can't tell, I'm doing a Gilmore Girls tag. I typed it in on YouTube, and I can't find anyone who has done a tag specifically for Gilmore Girls. If I missed it, I'm sorry, but if there's really not one yet, that is a crying shame. It is my favorite show. I love it so much. I got a couple of shirts for Christmas this year that are Gilmore Girls related. But I'm actually going to go ahead and link in the description box below the one for this particular shirt because it's so soft and the lettering is really, it's not heavy to where it's like hot against you and so I love this shirt and it has quickly become one of my favorites for sure and I hope that other people will do this tag too. If nothing else, comment below and tell me your answers to some of these questions. Number one, which character do you identify with the most? I identify with Lorelai the most. She's very strong, she's very independent. And yet, uh, there's really humbling moments in her life where she has to ask her parents or friends or whoever for help, whether it be financially or just business advice or whatever. And I relate to that a lot because I really hate to ask people for help, but you just, you need it sometimes. I, I took a little quiz before I started this a little BuzzFeed quiz to tell me which character I am. And it actually said that I'm Lorelai, which surprises me quite a bit. I feel like, personality-wise, the one that I think I'm the most like is Suki, just because she's really quirky and kind of different. I don't have a coffee mug. I feel like you can't do a Gilmore Girls tag without a coffee mug. Let's fix that. Problem solved. Okay. Number two. Favorite catchphrase. Goodness, there's so many. The first one that comes to mind is Oi with the Poodles already. Um, that was kind of overused though. That and Copper Boom. I really like the dinner episode where Lorelai is telling Emily that she doesn't like avocados, and then Emily asks her what's wrong with the tomatoes, and she says they're fraternizing with the enemy, like they're touching the avocados. I really like that. Big head want Dolly, Lorelai's first words. Gosh, there's so many. Number three, favorite episode. This comes up a lot with friends who watch the show. I always have a hard time picking between two different episodes. Uh, one is the 24-hour dance marathon, and I think I love it because of the music and that era. There's a lot of funny stuff happening in that episode. There's a lot of drama happening in that episode. But um, I also really, really like the opening of the Dragonfly Inn. There's something about that episode, I think there's a part of me that's like so proud of Lorelai that she accomplished this goal with Suki that they had had, and this, this dream that they had of opening their own end. And then there's a lot going on with Lorelai and Luke in that episode, and so I have a hard time choosing between those two, but if I had to choose, I think I'd go with the dance marathon. Biggest crush. Luke. I know that's so cliche. Um, I like all of Rory's boyfriends, but I don't really get into the, the arguments about which one is anybody's favorite. I, I don't like Rory's relationships near as much as Lorelai's. So, yeah, I, I think I like Luke the most. And he's the one that I can kind of see my personality fitting with. Maybe I am Lorelai. Blowing my mind a little bit. Favorite friend? I have to go with Suki. She's hilarious and you know she's kind of um, 
polarized polar opposites in some ways, and yet they're a lot alike too. But I have to say, I really love Lane. Um, I ended up really, really liking Paris. She's the craziest and funniest character. Least favorite episode. Okay, so this is kind of funny because one of my favorite episodes kind of ends up being my least favorite at the same time. You know, I said that um, the opening of the Dragonfly at the end of season four is one of my favorite episodes. But my least favorite moment ever throughout the series is Dean and Rory having their affair while he is married to Lindsay. I just didn't like to see Rory make such a big mistake. I didn't like to watch her hurt from that. I, I think that was part of it. Like you could tell how hard it was for her and then it caused a rift between her and Lorelai. It was, it was just difficult to watch. Yeah. Most relatable moment. Um, ooh, I know. Okay, so the show ended in 2007, which was my sophomore year in college. And so I couldn't relate to this moment until uh, a couple years later, but there's an episode where Rory's uh, reaching the end of her senior year at Yale, and she feels like everyone else has their like career path or their next step kind of outlined, and she feels like the only person that is scared and doesn't really have a plan. I think the majority of us time figuring out exactly what we want to do with our lives after college and so I really related to that moment and that kind of like nervous breakdown that she has with her college friends. Uh, least favorite character? You know the first one that came to mind that you just kind of like love to hate was Taylor Josie but I actually think confidence just kind of hurt her to her core. So, yeah, I think I have to go with Mitchum. Okay, favorite small character. Um, I like them all. I like Gypsy, I like Miss Patty, I like Babette. I think I have to go with Gypsy. There's so many funny little one-liners that she throws out. You know, she, uh, chooses Lorelai's side during like the Luke and Lorelai split. She's got her little pink bow on when she passes Lorelai. Um, she has a really funny conversation with uh, Jackson where she's talking to him about how guys are stupid with cars, which I feel like is such a backwards view and it's, it's just a hilarious scene. But then again, there's various things with Kirk. I like them all, but I, I think just right now off the top of my head, I'm going to say Gypsy. Number 10, most exciting thing about the Netflix revival. I mean, just the fact that it's coming back is so fun, and I, I can't wait. I mean, clearly I'm too much of a fan. But I think what I'm most excited about is just seeing Stars Hollow come to life again. To me, uh, one of the things that's so cool about this show, well, first of all, the writing is incredible. I think Amy Sherman Palladino is the hero of Gilmore Girls and doesn't get near enough credit for it. But for me, Stars Hollow is just as much a character on Gilmore Girls as actual living, breathing actor on the show. Just, you want to live in that town. Like, I wish it actually existed, and I hope at some point to go to the town in Connecticut that Amy Sherman Palladino kind of based Stars Hollow off of. Everything about it, Stars Hollow and, and all of the events that happen, all the funny little 
characters that make that town really feel like a home. If you genuinely wish that you could live in Stars Hollow. I love Gilmore Girls and I'm so glad that I got to do this video. It's probably not the last Gilmore Girls video I'll ever do. I, I might do like reaction videos to each of the four episodes that come out on Netflix because it's my favorite show. I can't see any other TV show ever topping how much I care about this show and, and all the characters in it and everything about it. So please do a Gilmore Girls tag if you love this show even remotely as much as I do. And like I said, if nothing else, comment below and tell me your answers to some of these questions or all of these questions if you want to. That's the Gilmore Girls tag. And thanks for watching. Like, comment below, subscribe, and come back next week when hopefully